Welcome back to Learning Escape and this time I'm going to show you how to erase straight lines from objects. Someone in the comment section asked me how to do that. The problem is that the eraser tool doesn't have a short key for that. Let me create an ellipse. Let me just create two. They're not that important. I'm now going to use the eraser tool. And you can see if I drag that, we always have a little bit of a crooked line. You need to have a calm hands to get a straight line out of it. And as far as I know, there is no short key to keep this razor line straight. If you know that such a short key exists, just let us all know in the comment section below. But the simple way I get around it is just to use a rectangle. So I use the rectangle tool and drag this one. Let me make it red. You can resize it and hold shift, click on the ellipse in the background, then go to path and difference. And that's how I erase these straight lines from objects. Let me create another rectangle. You can rotate them and it still remains a straight line. You can also hold control while you rotate it to have it snap to certain increments of 15 degrees. Once again, select it all path difference and you've got a straight line cut out of your object. A second way that you can use is just the Bezier tool. Just click. And when you move the cursor to the right, just hold control and it's going to snap once again to 15 degrees increments and you can keep it horizontally straight. But keep in mind, it's now a stroke. So if you want to adjust it, go to stroke style. For example, you've got red color for stroke paint. Under width, you can increase its size. But before you can use it under difference, just go to path and stroke to path. Now select it all and then path difference. So this is the second way to erase straight lines from your object. You want to use these elements, you can just break them apart afterwards. You've got two now. I hope this video answered your questions. If not, let me know in the comment section below. In any case, thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.